Hello guys, I'm Azhar and in this video I will show you how to control DC motors using this L298 and motor driver. So this is our motor driver. You can control two pin, uh, two motors using this uh, motor driver. One motor will be connected here and the other will be connected here. As you can see here, this is out one and this is out two and here it is written out three and out four. So these are uh, the out pins of uh, this motor driver uh, or motors will be connected here and here. Now we have uh, some power pins as you can see. This one and this one. This ground and this is uh, 5 volt and put power pin. And here we have 12 volt. This one is 12 volt and this one is ground. So we can supply 12 volt to this module uh, using these two pins and here we have the input pin input pins here this is uh input one input two input three and input four here we have two jumpers let's remove them so here these are the enable pins of uh, this module this is enable a and this is enable b we will connect these uh, pins to the PWM outputs of the Arduino. Here this enable A is for uh, this motor uh, which is out 1 and out 2 and this uh, enable B is for this motor out 3 and out 4. Here we have N1, N2, N3 and N4. N1 and N2 are for this and N2 uh, and sorry N3 and N4 are for this. So F, uh, if we uh, turn on the N2 pin and turn off the uh, N1 pin. So our potential difference of uh, 5 volts which Arduino give uh, 5 volt will be uh, produced here and our motor will start running. So and this way we can control the motors. So let's try. I have this motor over here. This is our motor and these are its two pins so let's connect it to the n1 and n2 as you can see i have connected the motor now i will uh, connect the power supply i have this uh, battery pack here it is producing now 9 volts so i will connect it First, we will manually test that uh, whether it is working or not. So, let's connect. I have another jumper over here. So, it is uh, producing 5 volts here at this pin as it is a 5 volt pin. So, I will connect this jumper here. And we'll check whether our motor is working or not. So I have connected it. So here we have N1 and N2 pins. So if I uh, uh, provide 5 volts to the N2 pin, the motor will rotate in one direction. As you can see, it is rotating counterclockwise. But if I uh, provide 5 volts to N1, it will rotate clockwise. As you can see. And again, if I provide 5 volts to pen 2, it is rotating counterclockwise, and now it is rotating clockwise. I have another motor here. I will connect it to this. So, if I provide this uh, 5 volts to pen 3 here. You can see it is rotating clockwise. And if I provide 5 volts to pen port, it will rotate counterclockwise. So, we have manually tested this module that it is working. Now, we will control uh, the speed and direction of our motors using microcontroller. So, I have uh, this uh, Arduino here. I will uh, connect 
the pins here this pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 pin 5 pin 6 and pin 9 the reason i am connected pin 9 here and the pin 6 here because we will uh, connect them to this uh, enable a and enable b pins so as they they are uh, uh, pwm pins so we can only connect pwm pins to these enable a and enable b pins here we have pin 2 we will connect this to We will connect pin 2 to N1 and pin 3 to N2 and pin 4 and pin 5 will be connected to N3 and N4. Now we have enable pins so I will remove this jumper. I will connect this pin uh, 6 of the Arduino to this enable A and pin 9 of the Arduino to enable B. Here, as you can see, now our connections are done. We will now look at our code. So, here this is our code this is a motor one, and its one pin is connected to pin 2 of the Arduino, and its other pin is connected to pin 3 of the Arduino. And the enable A pin which is for the motor 1 is connected to pin 6 of the Arduino. Uh, similarly this is for pin uh, sorry motor 2 and here we have declared all the pins as output of the Arduino and here we I have created uh, two functions uh, one is move counter clock uh, sorry clockwise and the other is move counter clockwise and clockwise I have sorry here so here I have a uh, uh, mad high the N1 pin and mad low the N2 pin. So potential difference of uh, 5 volt will be created uh, at the both the pins. And here I have uh, enable A pin and I have set it to 255 as the maximum range of this uh, speed is uh, 255 and the it is uh, ranging from 0 to 255. The maximum is 255. Here I have analog, use analog right because uh, this is analog and here I have for uh, motor 2 I have mad N3 high and N4 low and similarly this for motor 2. Now in uh, counterclockwise I have mad pen uh, N1 low and pen N2 high which is opposite of this one. So the motor will rotate in the opposite direction that is counterclockwise and here I have set the speed to 125 which is uh, about half of the maximum speed so it was about this and here and the void loop I have a uh, uh, move clockwise function which will run for 2 seconds and move counterclockwise function which will run for 2 seconds so now let's see this so I have uh, uploaded the code to the Arduino and before running this I will tell you that uh, uh, I will use uh, two different power supplies this uh, power bank for this Arduino and this uh, batteries pack for uh, this uh, module so for this we will have a common ground pin so I will connect the ground of the Arduino to the ground of this power supply here Now I will power this uh, Arduino board and you will see the motors. Let's power this. As you can see it is running clockwise with a uh, high speed of and it is running counterclockwise with a low speed. <laughs> this is because of this 
that it is not running for the time. So I will hope that you have liked this video. If you like this, so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.